table one the part number two of railway roads. Yeah, the bitch, sorry. We are doing part number two, we're just gonna check the timetable. And uh, this is part number two of the Archivich story. It's not on the docks, but I accidentally put the train going the wrong way, sorry about that. Now it's a perfect time, and it looks like you've been offered a new contract. Oh, this looks good. Back in my day, we didn't earn half this much. Good work. Now that you've accepted it, it's time for the trial train. This train will determine how fast your route is and how much you'll be paid for it. So make it count. Oh, and a note on contracts for the future. Remember, you should only accept the ones you like the look of. No need to take too many, or any at all, if you'll get overwhelmed. Whew, that was quick. Don't worry if you're not wonderful. That train will be running every 60 minutes from now on, so be sure to watch out for it. Now that we're so busy, we don't want to be having to manually accept all those trains, do we? How about we automate the process to make our life a little easier? We should start by automatically accepting trains onto the platforms. We'll need to unlock the Auto Accept Trains upgrade to do that. Go ahead and open up the System Upgrades panel and we'll get started. Perfect! There are lots of upgrades here for the future, but for now, we're looking for the Auto Accept Trains upgrade. There are four different types of upgrades. Contract, Automation, Control, and Interface Upgrades. Great! Here's the one we're looking for. The upgrades take five upgrade points to unlock. We'll earn one upgrade point each time we dispatch a train on time, so better make sure we don't run late. Nice work! That's our first upgrade. Hopefully there's many more to come. Now, let's take a look at how it works. Look at that! A button's been added. Turning this on will let us automatically accept trains arriving at this station. Perfect! This button will be available in every one of our stations. Remember, it's activated by default, so feel free to uncheck it when you need to. the church bells. They remind me of my time at Wakefield. That was a long, long time ago now. 
If I close my eyes, I can still hear the sound of the cathedral tolling. It always used to wake me up. <laughs> you know, I've been working on a project for a while now. I've been to a lot of places in my time. Oh yes, more than I can count. But I don't want to forget any of them. So I've been making them into maps. Little games to play. And I've just finished recreating Wakefield. Would you like to play it? It shouldn't take long. It's only a short one. I'd love to show it to you. I've even included the old cathedral bells. <laughs> Wonderful. It's quite simple, really. There's a set number of trains for you to dispatch, and the goal is to get the highest score possible. Take it slow, and see how well you do. Here we are. Remember, the goal of this map is to get the highest score possible, so try to make sure that all of the trains run on time. Take it slow, and have fun. Done. Here's another one. Make sure you don't keep them waiting. <laughs> wow, I really didn't see that when it was so fast. Good job. Oh, how I miss this place. This was one of my first ever posts as a dispatcher, you know. I'd always get a hot chocolate at the bakery. That's it. You've done it. And a great job you've done, too. That's a good score. I guess we better get back to work now, huh? <laughs> Okay, back to Prague again, and back to business. Now, where were we? to get the trains to the destination and back without crashing in the crew mode, but where I, was, where I have seen people in my board up, either they need to go to docks, that's why they have put a wall there in the crew mode. So, how do you get to docks? Well, you'll see that in, you'll see that coming up in episode two, episode three. We had some late trains, but not to worry. I've made bigger mistakes than this. When I first started out way back when the stations were nationalized, the newly appointed transport minister was looking to take a ride on one of our trains. Minais Milos, they called him. Well, I sent his train to the wrong station. 
His face was red as a tomato when he barged into the dispatch office. Episode 2 is going to be a little bit longer. Well, it looks like business is going great. How about expanding our network and unlocking a new station? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure we can handle it. Holoshevitz's station sounds like a good candidate. Let's go for it. <coughs> Looks like we've got enough money to purchase a platform. Let's open the buy menu and take a look. Time's ticking. Perfect. Looks like we can afford a lot of the platforms, but we should focus on Holoshevitz's station for now. I've got some special memories attached to that place. Oh, I can picture it now, walking down beside the Vitava River on my way to Holoshevitsa in the evening. Good times. Oh, anyway, we best find a contract that puts our new platform to use. If you can't find a contract for Holoshevitsa straight away, try declining some. One's bound to pop up eventually. Right. I am going to finish off the, this episode and I'll show you how to connect up Polish Vicha in the next episode. So take care, happy training. Happy training dispatching.